Hi everybody. Uh, when I was looking to book a hotel and we were looking at the Aqua in Turkey, um, we couldn't really find a, a more recent review that covered all the key areas that we wanted to know. So I thought I'll make something um, as we come, we've come to the end of our uh, two week vacation here, we came with my family and decided, well, okay, let's do a quick review. Not to, not to be a professional video or anything like that, but just to kind of give a whistle stop tour of all the key things. And if it helps people make a decision, then I'm happy with that. Okay, so this is the Hotel Aqua in Ishmala um, in Turkey. And that's the hotel behind me. And if you look, this is where you get dropped off. So that's the main road into the high street. You're right in the center of town. And this is the hotel entrance. Now we arrived in the morning and if I'm being honest, when we arrived, we thought, ooh, it looks a bit tight. It doesn't look as fancy as some of the hotels we've been to. But believe you me, it's uh, something that uh, your opinion has changed very quickly soon after that. But if you look, this is just a, a small car park. And round here, you've got the tennis court and they've got a basketball net there as well. So I know our kids uh, really enjoyed coming on coming on here with their friends. So that's at the front of the hotel. And that's what it kind of looks like. And on this side, it's just got the Hotel Aqua signage. So if we walk now into the main lobby area, on, over here you have the security guard and it's quite good. Every time you book an excursion and you're going out, they'll always take your hotel room number and they are very very strict they don't let people locals in uh, without without permission you walk into the lobby area and on the right hand side we've got our uh, check-in and the staff are really helpful there's a little seating area there and the two rep uh, and equally the jet two reps and uh, they, they tend to have their meetings there. Over here, you've got this Kelsa's Cafe. Uh, really useful, actually. At first, we didn't come in here, but then the football came on and everybody was sitting here. The boxing was on in here. Uh, it gets quite busy and it's all uh, service, table service on the bar. I'll show you in a minute. Over here, you've got the Aqua souvenir shop and actually really really pleasantly surprised at the pricing so packet of Chris here is 20 Turkish lira which at the moment works out to be at about a pound and they're actually cheaper here than they are out, out in the uh, high street there were 25 lira there so surprising that this is actually cheaper they have a few bags and good goods here as well we bought a few bits from here so the owner of the shop is here this is Mustafa Mustafa do you want to say hello Hello, <laughs> I, I am Mustafa. And uh, so I, uh, we, were, we were buying our things. We bought a few bits and pieces, few essentials. Mustafa uh, and his wife have really looked after us. Really, really nice people. Uh, they've got a few cats, toys, a few bits and pieces. So how long have we had this shop, Mustafa? First year, our first year. First year? First year, our first year. Uh, we have everything and good quality and a reasonable price, uh, the price on ticket for everything, the ticket and our money is close to zero. To be honest with you, we found everything really reasonable and you can get all the kids' toys and things like that, inflatables and a few other essentials. Thank you, Mustafa. You're welcome. Bye-bye, how nice Thank you. And then right next to the shop here is a, a jewellery shop. And then on the right hand side, so we're back in the main lobby area. So these are the two lifts uh, that take you up and down. There's actually four lifts that take you to all floors. And if you go on to this side, you've got the doctors, you've got the bathroom, toilets, and then you've got a hairdresser at the end. And I have actually had my hair cut here a few times. Oh, oh I'm, <laughs> I'm doing a short video just on a bit of a review. So if you want to say anything, let me come inside and show me everybody. So 
This is where I had my uh, well, hair, shaving, things like that Alberton, as well. we are doing Alberton. Hair, shave, eyebrow, eyelash, manicure, pedicure, Alberton we are doing. <laughs> okay. Everything in and very good price. <laughs> oh, I, I, a bit, a bit. I always uh, like to haggle you down a little bit on price. I'm going to make sure they haggle you down on price as well. <laughs> See you later. We've got guest relatable. Guest relations there. So this is back into the lobby area. And if you then go down to a few steps. So this is a nice area to come and sit in the evenings, daytime, if you want to get out of the sun. Uh, they've got a cake place here, which phenomenal cake, absolutely uh, beautiful, really good. Um, so yeah, it's a nice place and all these lights look beautiful at night time when they come on. So we head off outside now. The pool tables, they don't take cash, uh, but they do put them onto your room. They're quite inexpensive. Uh, from memory, they're about 50 lira for an hour, which works out about £2.50. Uh, when we're here, only uh, one of them, that one worked, this one wasn't working. So that might change. If we go out the main lobby area now and on the left you've got the buffet kitchen so this is where they serve all the food obviously the, uh, the time of saving this is between breakfast and lunch so if you come late at night this is where they normally seat you uh, they'll prepare you a cold plate just so that you don't go to sleep hungry and the staff work really really hard as you can see, they're constantly at it. So it's quite a big dining room, all air conditioned, uh, really, really quick at serving. Uh, by the time you sat down, normally you have uh, somebody who's there asking you if you what drinks you want and uh, so on. So they're very good at their service. That overflows into the outside area for eating both for breakfast, uh, obviously lunch, and again for dinner. There were a couple of times where they had like um, uh, a singer, some background dinner music on this area. So that's where I went in, just to get our bearings back. So that's the restaurant, and then, and that's the lobby right there. So if we go down, back towards the lobby, it might be easier. And then as you come out of, the lobby area. This part, this bar stays open 24 hours a day, so you can, after the main entertainment's finished, you can come back and have a few drinks on this area here. So, we, you know, we spend sometimes until two or three o'clock in the morning just uh, talking and enjoying the environment. And as they come down, the pool is in the far side there, and you can see they've got some entertainment going on. Just, uh, uh, I think that's aqua fit, aqua aerobics nice little feet water feature now these tables at night time if you've got like a special occasion a birthday an anniversary they set these up differently they put almost like a throne like chair in for you and that kind of goes on into this area here as well and make it quite special there's two doors to the lobby area one where we came out of on that side, and then there's one here, so you can come out. And then if we go through here, this is the going towards the a la carte restaurant, which to be honest with you, we didn't eat at because we found that the buffet system was fine. And also our son, he uh, he's quite fussy. So uh, we didn't eat in here, but the people that have, they said it was okay. I um, don't know if you can see it too much through here. They've got this kind of nice water effect and feature with some fish. And a little water feature at the end here. And then this actually brings us back into the lobby area through 
this little boardroom that they've got here. This boardroom never gets used for anything, never seen it used for anything, but I guess for a private function or a meeting if, if needed. If you go through here, you're back in the main lobby area. Okay, so if we now head, we exit out the second entrance and we'll head towards the pool. The entertainment team here are really good, really good. So they haven't saved anything here while I was here, but there's our DJ DJ. I'll show you the pool area afterwards when they've turned the music uh, down after the aerobics. So, that's where, to get a bearing, that's where the restaurant was that we showed you earlier on. And if you look here, this is, uh, they have a, a barbecue system. So every day, they'll put on barbecued meats or chicken, uh, peppers, and other meats and fish as well. And then right next to where the pool area is, you've got, which is an eating area for evening time, it becomes a seating area for the entertainment and they remove all the umbrellas and they relay out the chairs and things like that. So some nice shaded areas for people to sit. And then the evening time, the entertainment takes place in this area on that stage and if it's something to do with aerobics and things like that they then put a cordon around it around it in the evenings but they also do some daytime activities so they've got like the, the water uh, sports and things like that. Uh, the uh, water balloon um, passing game then they do some children's entertainment during the day and then this bar come restaurant on this side they serve all the lunch and if you don't want to have lunch in the main buffet area they've got a really good menu uh, here everything's pretty quick and they serve it and this is a bar area and again they open from uh, just after breakfast so the seating area continues Anika Zay say hello you got a cat that's my daughter Anika there's my son Zane and their and their friends Ah, oh, they're playing with a cat. <laughs> Is it your cat? Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> He's joking. Um, so, this is the outdoor area. Continues, continues. It's really well laid out. Um, everything's really compact, but really well designed. So again, the pool is within a stone's throw of almost every area. And then you've got the sunbeds around the pool, which I'll show you in a short while, but equally you've got like a little area here just to get away from the main hustle and bustle. And then that will bring you out straight towards the pool again. Ah, George! Come here, my friend. So this is George, he's our lifeguard. Come on inside so we'll get away from the music. He's our life, lifeguard and he's been an excellent, excellent guy for us. Thank you very much. So George, tell us a little bit about yourself. I started this job 25 years ago. Yeah. I am still here, I enjoy this job. I am polite to everyone. Yeah. That's it. Uh, nice yeah. to see you here. And, jo and if you can't find a sunbed and you speak to George, George yeah, will always help you out. He'll sort it out. So don't worry about some beds and things like that. If you ever can't find one, George will sort it. And yesterday when we were eating, he cleaned every single sunbed twice. Every single sunbed around here gets cleaned every day. Thank you, George. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So now we he's already helping somebody there. So if we go towards the beach area.
So again, you've got lots of seating, nice views, a little bit of quiet space. Um, in fact, before I go to the beach, let me show you where they've got like a ping pong table and where they do some of the airsoft and other activities. So you've got a waffle corner there, waffle corner. Um, personally, I'm not trying to, but the kids have been there almost every day. I'm going to try one today before I go. Uh, another toilet there. And this is like a, a bar where they have the darts challenge in the mornings. Uh, but it's also a nice place to sit, right? With visibility and views of the, of the sea. And again, the staff are as helpful as everywhere else in the hotel. And then down here, they've got an activity on at the moment, which is, we've got the bowls, the ping pong, you do the airsoft. So all the people here now. So if we now go towards the beach area, so you can see it from here. So it's a really nice place to come and read a book if you want to get out of the sun, come and have a nice dinner, a lunch, just a drink. I've done that a few times. And then if we go towards the beach, this is their beach, and there's always security who wait at uh, making sure people only the people who've got the right bands come in. So before we kind of cross over to the beach, you can go down that way and you end up uh, towards one canal and then you can go the other way, end up towards the other. There's restaurants and bars all the way down both sides. You can book your trips and things there if you wanted to. And then this is the beach area. well so it's, it's fine it's really good the water is actually nice and <laughs> it's not too cold uh, I'm not not too warm obviously but it's nice uh, come, nice place to come and cool down and relax if you've got if you like the beach so that's the back of the hotel that we walk back to now back in the hotel ground. The lifts that I've mentioned earlier on, that there's four, each wing has its own lift. So whichever wing, and you need to get to your room a little bit quicker in the evening without going through the main lobby, you just go through the entrances here. And if you look there, that lift will go up. Uh, it's quite bizarre because it, it's like you're on the outside. And you see somebody's getting into it now. The whole thing will just start going up or down like it is there. And over here, bacon, bacon. Yes, I see you. <laughs> All right, How morning. are you? Uh, I'm okay. I'm Good okay. Are you okay to be on the video for a minute? Yeah. Of course. Yes. I'm so, always. so these are the twins. These are part of the animation yes. team. Burke and Birkin, the amazing guys. Hello, guys. To be honest with you, they've made a big difference to our whole day. Do you, want to, do you want to tell us what you do? I just working. Don't feel the work here. Just enjoy it. That's all. Yeah, we are doing some activities yes. and we are doing the shows. We are waiting all of you into the Alcora Ichmela Hotel. Let's oh, go. Brilliant. And, and, and to be fair, Birkin does, he, he's a DJ as well. He's a man of many yeah, talents. Yeah. Uh, they both take part in every activity. They make the time good, they constantly leave a smile on your face and in the evening time you sat down, they'll come and sit with you, they'll, they'll make sure you're okay. So, really good guys. Thanks yes, Becca Becky. Right. Uh, play hard. Uh, absolutely. So if we go up here, you've got the, they make pancakes here. Uh, so if you, do, if you have missed breakfast and you want to get a quick pancake, you've got different, different flavours and styles. And then through here, you can catch uh, one of the lifts showed it from the outside however if you go down we'll be going to the spa area this also access to also access to the uh, swimming pool and also the spa facilities so this is a spa area I am just going to the, I'm going to turn it off at this point just to get permission to film and I'll film what I can. I have had permission 
to make this part of the video. Uh, do you want to say hi? hi? Do you want to say anything about your spa? Yeah, we have a spa center here, sauna, Turkish spa, indoor pool, uh, everything free for you. And they're, they're, they're actually really good. I, I had a massage here, which yeah. of course you have to pay for the air have, conditional treatment. Yeah, we have also treatments here, facial, massage, everything here. Okay, thank you. So if we walk through the spa, uh, I'm just going to make sure I'm not filming anybody who's having treatment. So I'm going to go straight in into the gym, just to show you what the gym is like. So turn right, let me turn left at the end here. And I won't go inside again, there's people in there and I haven't had permission to, uh, from them individually, but I'll try to show you the, the floor area. So you can see that's the gym. Quite a small gym. But if you, if you want to keep fit, I'm sure it's perfect for you. So now we're coming out of the spa area. The steps. So right again, right near the pool. Let's go around the pool area now. So they're setting up for their morning challenge. They normally have a challenge on at around this time, and then they have the volleyball at 2:45. So it looks like they've got the sponge challenge on this time around. There's Oskay doing that quick bit. So they're getting ready for their game and if you look onto the far side there, they've got some additional beds. Hold some steps. We managed to get hold of Oskay as she's come out of the pool. She's got her Aquafit, uh, what they call noodles. Yeah, noodles. <laughs> noodles. Yeah. So, so Osge, do you, is anything? So Osge is uh, she is in charge of the uh, well-being type activities and welfare yeah. activities. Yeah, so yeah. she'll do the yoga yeah. and aquarobics. the aquarobics yeah, and, more. and more. Yeah, and wellness and entertainment in aquata. If you want to rest, enjoy. Fun and more, please come aqua Okay, thank you. I love you. <laughs> I will love you too. Yeah. And just every, you know, she's there in the evening, she's up getting everybody dancing, yeah. selling bingo tickets, yeah. raffle tickets. But we are never tired. Never tired. Yeah. And sometimes I'm surprised because they only have three or four hours sleep at night and they're still, yeah. the energy levels are so high. Yeah. So thank you, Osgay. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. You. Bye. Bye, Bye. So back, I think that's more or less all of the hotel. It's a view in the lift. This is the third floor, this is where we were staying. Just to give you an indication of what it looks like and see the views. These two rooms, room 304 and 305. This is what the room looks like from inside. So Give the mess we are packing to go later on today, so, so it's a bit messy. Bathroom. This is quite functional, it's nice. This is filmed from the third floor balcony, which is next to the lift. And you can see the views. A lot of the landscape was damaged in the fires last year, so this is uh, August. Right, 
found a quiet spot to summarise my thoughts. So, in summary, um, this hotel, the building itself is probably at best a four-star one compared to some of the places we've stayed at. But the entertainment staff, the food and beverage team, the housekeeping, every member of the staff is willing to go the extra mile to make it an amazing holiday for everybody. And that, that's what makes it a five plus star. And it absolutely deserves those five stars that it's got. There's something for everybody. Uh, so whether you are a family with toddlers, your family with teenagers, or you're just um, a couple adults and you want to have a time, be looked after, feel like you've had a good break, this is an amazing hotel and I would absolutely recommend you do it. Uh, we're certainly looking at coming over and over ourselves. So that's about it really, a uh, great hotel, uh, I think you'll have a great time. If you like the video, just remember it's been done for fun, uh, I'm not, I don't make videos for a sleeping or anything so far, if, if, if it doesn't come across as, as professional as it should do or anything like that. I've only done it just so it answered the questions that I wanted answering and gives you an insight into the hotel before you come. So if you like it, please like, subscribe, share, leave a positive comment. Uh, hopefully that will encourage me to do more and more. Um, I've done one previously and if I stay in any others, it will encourage me to do more. So thank you very much for your time. If you do come, enjoy a break. Uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.